Cheers to <laughs> Hey guys. <laughs> Hi everyone. Would you like to introduce yourself? Oh. You guys know I'm Amy Satori. I'm Amy Satori. I'm Carmen Amara and we just met but we've been talking for how long? It hasn't oh, been Oh, it's been a few months now. Yeah, a few and, months. Um, I, my story is that I... Can I talk about my twin but You can I talk never, about whatever you want. I never mentioned it as my twin. Like, Ooh. I never talk about it, but I don't know. Ooh. We're coming out of the closet. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm very... I respect his privacy. Yes. I'm not going to show who he is, but I don't know if it's... I'm sure he doesn't. He won't even watch this. Alright, okay. He won't watch So my He doesn't watch my channel. <laughs> we never know. He spies on me. Um, so the thing is, my twin, Flame, and I just realized this a couple of months ago, actually, that he was a twin. Beforehand, I had no idea. Um, he's really changed my life. I came from a background as an artist and have always done everything in the public eye. And he's taught me to be more private and patient, which, to those that ask, patience is something that you need in this. A lot of patience. And, um... Being that said, me being in the public eye and him being so private has been something very eye-opening for me because it's taught me to be, at least in my world, to kind of lay low. The celebrity lifestyle to me is just too much, too much drama at the moment. And in all aspects, not just people coming at you, it's also energetically. And so I chose to do this more for the love of like bringing and raising awareness and helping my twin. He's helping people, helps me. I help him. Mm -hmm. um, so how are you in the public eye so everybody knows? So what what I do is I I have always done... What's like, your name? Car <laughs> <laughs> Carmen Amara is my name. Um, so Carmen, see, Amara. Carmen Amara. Hablo español pero solo un poquito. Oh, pero hablas muy bien. Gracias. Oh my God, Gracias. Gracias. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, so what Amy and I decided to do, because I came here because of the hurricane in Miami, um, I decided to come down and share with you guys a little bit of the celebrity, um, my, my point of view of what's happened to me. And so I come from a background of singing and dancing, and then later on I, I mixed a little bit more uh, training. So I melded it all, and so I do it for my house. So for example, I've been on national television and um, used to work for an EBC on YouTube. Which, YouTube. And um, I have a big, uh, big following for exercise because I, I later on I just incorporated it all. But now it's more like I want to do it as a flow. Now my thing's called Amara 360 flow, and the 360 comes from the idea of mind, body, soul, healing. So from my perspective, I decided to change, I guess, the ego-driven Carmen Amara more into the centered and loving Carmen Amara to teach people that you can do whatever you want. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. There are no labels and you should have fun. And with my twin flame relationship, it's been something so rewarding because it's, he's taught me that. Like, you just got to be patient and, and spread love. How has he taught you that? Because he's not the public eye. I know he's had a problem with this. <laughs> he's totally... How has it been a problem for him? Let's talk about okay, that. Okay, so for example, I haven't really put him on social media because I know from personal, just personal experience, mm -hmm. um, I once did something and send it to someone and he found out oh my god like he was mad for a month a month <laughs> a month you guys and I was crying and I'm like what did I do wrong I would text him I'm sorry and then a month later he he was like okay well you know don't do that so I knew from the beginning that this person wanted his privacy completely and so what I would do just little hints here not everybody's there. gonna be that way no, either but no, no, he's very be, shy we're talking the other he is spectrum. really shy yeah we're talking the other spectrum <laughs> But it's taught me to like kind of also in my own world not to put everything out there because it's, it's I also believe we have to have some form of privacy. We do, we do. Yeah. And so I keep my circle small now. And I what I post is more like fun things and you know, mm -hmm. little crazy stuff. I guess happen. going into a pot shop. <laughs> I don't know how to go in there. That was so funny. And yeah, it was hilarious because I'm like, here, film me. So you, I could just remember that moment. But yeah, like stuff like that, that I think people need in their we'll, lives. We'll put it on the end of this video. Yeah, we'll put it on the, I'll give you that. that was so funny. And then, you know, I, I do have children. So my little one, I was like, stay behind. Don't she's, go such a, she's such a good influence. <laughs> you know, and that's the other thing too, that I'm just very open minded with my children. You know, I speak to them very frankly and as a celebrity i think that would have been so hard on them you know i wouldn't want to put them through that you know openness and they're, they're learning on You've their own you've kept them very grounded thank you yeah yeah they're sweethearts thank you so much of course I, they are. they're they're incredible and i think that's why i think what we were saying you know we have to be open-minded and communicate 
it's so funny because every time that we talk, we like we talk through WhatsApp. Yes. And she'll be like, "Oh, guess what? Oh, shut up! I did not." <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll click off, and I'm start laughing, and it'll, she then she resumes. Like I said, I'm not doing this, or I'm not, you know, or here's the rest of this, and then she'll get cut off again, and she'll be, stop it! I said stop it. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I were to do a, if I were to do a series, it would be funny. The things that happen, yeah. that's the thing too. As a, um, I wouldn't want to even say I'm a celebrity. As just a person that puts yourself out there. Everything people come to my you life, and it's a beautiful experience store? because you have good energy and because you you're positive. You. I'm sure Amy. Yeah, I've seen Amy's true. post, and she gets flowers, or she gets people always saying how store? amazing she is, and that's because yeah. you've learned the, that that's what it's about. This is about it is what it's about. No matter what you are or who you are or what you do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just being yourself. Yeah, yeah, be exactly. Be yourself. Yeah. That's what it is. Have you done a good job, you little hottie? Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> little famous hottie. <laughs> but at the end of the day, going back to the celebrity thing, um, I say you gotta go with your heart. If you are a celebrity, um, you just gotta keep that in mind. She points to me. <laughs> like, I, that I, would be you. No, also, you have a good following, and well, you have a lot I'm, of people. I'm famous really, in a group of this big. It doesn't matter. See, that's what people think. Uh, you have people. Yeah, that, it doesn't even matter. No, Who cares? It Isn't doesn't that funny? matter. What matters is because uh, you have a public, and let me tell you, as a public figure, people will take every word to heart. So you that's gotta so be, true. Right? So, so true. Yes. Oh my gosh. And so you gotta guide them the best way. And I feel every yeah. video that I see of her, like I, I, I keep them and I'm like send them to the girls or something or my friends yeah. because there's so many beautiful messages that you give out and Thank it's you. unbiased, which I love. Thank She's you. She's so unbiased. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and she just, you know, it's, it's what we're supposed to do. So if you are a celebrity, just keep in mind, just always think about your, your partner, keep them into consideration and, you know, just see how you can meld into that world. Mm -hmm. Try to disconnect. Mm -hmm. Try true. To, right? Try to give yourself that time to disconnect. Because well, just like with anybody. Yeah. You know, you just have to see what's cool with everybody and yeah. just respect everybody's wishes. Exactly. Exactly. Uh -huh. And I think everything will go, will go smoothly. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know, it's it's been a ride. Yeah. So. When was the moment that you knew, like, oh, this is kind of getting out of control. <laughs> I'm a little oh scared. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, well, my, I say my blessing have been my girls. Um, when I was in the public eye, like, talking about with labels and going to, to music producers, I was really egotistical. Like, I wanted just to be famous. I was married at the time, and I didn't care about... My, I didn't really care about my marriage. I was just, like, well, my husband is an ex-cop, so he had his schedule, knowing that cops have a really hard schedule. I would be in the music, you know, in the studios late at night. So that started taking a bad toll in the relationship. My little one didn't know because she was only four, but I wasn't really thinking of her. I was thinking only of me. Then when I got pregnant with her, I had a huge opportunity to sign with a, a record label and to go to the Bahamas for a girl group. I was devastated, guys, but little did I know that it was a blessing in disguise because she just changed my entire world. Like all that ego driven um, necessity, all that vanity. Um, I was, I was, I just really sat back and, and then said, because my marriage just really broke. I said, I got to change. Mm -hmm. This can't happen. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. she came into my life as a cata oh. catalyst. She, she just literally changed. I, I didn't understand it at the time, but that's another thing, guys. You have to understand that when things happen that are tower moments, mm -hmm. they're not always bad. They're not bad. They're just... They're always good. I see them as right? course, course corrections. Yes, yes. They yes. set you on yes. course for your more authentic yes. path. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and so that's another thing with the twin flame that I learned. It's like my twin, I think he was very narcissist, and yeah, of course he did hurt me, but I always saw that light in him. And he's changed so much. Wow. So much that don't give up on people because of what's, how they're doing. Just try to send them love, disconnect a bit, but when you plant that seed, it does grow, it does ferment. That's very true. You have yeah. to believe in people. You yeah. really have to believe the best. Yeah, and I'm at a point now, I'm happy. I'm so happy, I'm very blessed, and I meet amazing people, and mm -hmm. here, I'm sorry, guys. You can, do you want to come on camera and say hi? Okay, no, she's of a little- she doesn't. <laughs> no, I'm just hoping that one day she may want to. Hey, come here, sit over here. It's hot. Okay, stay in the sun. You said it's hot. 
But um, yeah, because you see, this is what we do. We're, we're, we're literally talking. That's what the conversation <laughs> sounds like constantly when she's recording with me. <laughs> she's, it's, yeah, it's just constant interception. Always. And that's on my house. Isn't too. it? <laughs> she's quiet. During the headlights. Yeah, she's always. But yeah, I'm telling if, you. Um, okay, so somebody coming into being a, a celebrity, they're not like well seasoned in it. What, what would your advice be? Or people who are about to come in it and haven't hit it yet. Oh my god. Because there are so many. Did you just do <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jada. Just threw something at me. Um, I mean, there are so many, so many feminines, some masculines too, that are being very blessed by incredible opportunities. So. Yes, you're right. But would you, how, how, how should they stay grounded? How should they keep a clear head oh, okay. when so, everybody's yeah. flattering them? Yes. Oh, you're going to be the next best thing, or you're going to be, you yes. know, like, oh my God. really talking them up. It's so funny. Yeah, and most of them are just talking up, you guys. It's sad, but... There's a lot of fakeness in the industry. I don't want to say it. Seriously, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and so you have to always know this. I think number one is boundaries. You have to learn how to say no. If there's something that's bothering you, it doesn't matter if they're going to get mad at you or if they say, oh, you lost this contract. You listen to your heart. You listen to this, not this. And that's the biggest, the biggest thing that I could recommend. Secondly, um, just know that you have, you have the ability to change courses. If singing's an issue, like for me, I decided to do more art, and I still sing, but it's art, so we all have a purpose. It could change at any time. That's okay. That's what I think is key too: is to stay stay grounded enough that you'll consider other options. Yeah. If you totally lost your career, what would you do? Exactly. You know, don't make it all about whatever that is that you're doing. Yeah. You know, get a mixing pot of of talents and, and interests going, so that if you ever do leave the industry, you'll have something else kind of established or some experience under your belt Such or whatever. I could say that that was one of the hardest things for me because my thing was singing, 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 and I didn't see how many more beautiful options I had on the side until the tower moment, boom, and then I had to see it for what it was. Mm. But it's true. It's like we have so many possibilities. And that's where I say follow your heart because you're getting guided every, you get a synchronicity yes. every second. Every listen second. to your intuition yeah, where it's leading one. you. And if you do listen to a shit, and you're, sorry, if you do listen to your intuition, <laughs> <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> deer in a headlight, I'm going to show you on video when you do that. Um, <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> She'd be mortified. <laughs> Hell no. Oh, um, if you do, um, I forgot my train of thought. What was I saying? If you uh, do follow yeah. your intuition, you're gonna come in. How does someone follow their intuition? Okay, so I feel that if you are in the moment, that's to me the biggest thing because there can be so many signs. I mean, so many. When I say signs, I'm talking about literally signs, or someone comes to talk to you, or you hear music and you have a vision. Mm -hmm. um, so those dreams. are dreams. Dreams, yes. Um, reminders of them. Yes, reminders. Weird freak things that happen that make you go, what? <laughs> yes, those are all called synchronicities. And I think one of the most important things for me that open up my uh, my abilities is to be in nature because you're connected to a beautiful mm -hmm. energy field and. You can literally just hear your own voice or your guidance system. Mm. It depends on what you believe, you know, but there's thousands of ways. Mantras, um, exercise, anything in the creative mm -hmm. arts, drawing, scrying, you mm -hmm. know, painting. But yeah, those things, if you are in the moment and you are open to hearing, then you shouldn't have so much of an issue. Because when I came in, I, was, I wasn't awakened. I didn't know what the hell was going on. So I would just do whatever what people wanted. Mm. And then little Ooh, one. Yeah. yeah. Oh. See, I say that all the time. Like however however somebody knows themselves going into it, it's gonna depend on how real they were or how, how much they don't get whipped up in all of that stuff. Exactly. And exactly. so it sounds like you got whipped up in it. But it's good it's good that you got out, yeah? Yeah, no, I, I honestly can't say that I regret it. No. I mean you're amazing. I mean I, I would never uh, I mean I, I say this like it's condescending about celebrities, but I would never I would never say that about you. Thank you. She's not conceited and stuck up and a jerk and she doesn't uh, you like say I need to have this and I need to have well. No, I actually ended up I would, I would carry like the makeup artist stuff. I, I yeah, have, I've I mean, always been humble. She's so down to earth, yeah, Thank and humble. You. That's why she was able to continue it. You gotta have a little bit of that humility. You if yeah, you don't know who you are going in, you'll you could totally no, you get lost. Get in so it. lost. That's why people get into like you know the bad stuff, like the alcohol or yeah. just the, the 
the codependency issues. Yeah, so don't do that, that. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't you guys. Go to meditation. Do something healthy. If, you, if you're having a tough time yeah. coping with Come see a Amy sudden, here yeah. in Boulder, the lighthouse. <laughs> she just saw the lighthouse. Yeah. <laughs> it was beautiful, by the way. That's the first time seeing that place. Yeah, it's really pretty. It has a good energy, a good vibe to it. Yeah. But these things are what, what really help, would help somebody coming into the industry, I think. Because all that stuff will come and go. The material stuff, that's going to come and go. Trust me, it does. The looks, they'll come and go. You, you know? just got to be happy and don't don't get into the falseness of it. Like, honestly, it's not, money comes and goes. Money is a form of energy. I told my little girls that because when you go, <laughs> you got to get her. I think you want to be that's on the show. That's what kids are great for. <laughs> Do you want to be on the show? You sound like you want to be on the show. She always interrupts me. It makes me look bad. I told I taught you that. That's what I kids do. They do. I do. They call you on your stuff. I was oh, a living nanny once. Oh, you were? Really? Oh Lord. Oh, oh my God. Oh Lord. I would I would read them. Uh, now this is what the Bible says. I was very Christian. Oh, no. This is what the Bible says. I'd read her these stories, and then she'd be like, "You are telling a lie." I was like, "It's just a little one." Like, oh my you're lying. You're lying. Oh and I'd be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. like, how do I even cover up for this? Like, what do I say? What do I say? It was so funny. You're so funny. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so it's like. Oh, oh, okay. I got to tell you a funny story too. Okay, tell. so I tell this little one that she has to, like, she can't, she used to love to go get the whipped cream and put it in her mouth. <laughs> Yes. And so, uh, like when I was around, I was very strict. I was like, no, 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 you're not, no. Oh my God. And then, and really? then when her parents were away, she would sneak over and do it right in front of me, and I'd just be like, oh, oh my gosh. What would you she really say to her? Oh, I would just look at her like, oh, you just wait till tomorrow. <laughs> you just wait. You wouldn't do anything. No, I would. Of course, I wouldn't <laughs> do me, anything. But me. I'd just be like. You, I, I mean, then I had to get on the parents' case and be like, you guys need to be consistent with what I'm doing. I'm the disciplinarian. I'm the one teaching boundaries and having good, healthy boundaries. You need to be teaching your kids this, you know? And they would like be like, I know. That's and the me. dad like was so funny. He had this great sense of humor and ev like he always took everything like really like whatever. He had, he was more of a comedian and she was just pretty lazy. <laughs> she was just like, she's like, Amy, she just, just yeah, here, she was Amy. just like sitting on the couch eating and just like you, she'd work really hard all day, so she wouldn't want to do anything. So she wanted me to take care of everything. Oh my and I was like, God. on my off hours, I'm not going to be disciplining your kids no, because you won't. Your job. Not, oh, oh my, my gosh, God, what a they know how to play you though. Oh. They know how to play you <laughs> and push your buttons. Yeah, kids you do. are so funny. And the thing is that my girls are just so <laughs> sweet. They know. When I'm mad, Funny. it's like, the, I, I'm they a butter, I'm so butter. Sweet. I'm like, here, just take whatever you need. <laughs> but it's that that goes along with the celebrity lifestyle because then you got to teach them to be, you know, humble. Otherwise, they're going to get lost. And then you just set a pattern for generations to come. Yeah. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. Oh, my God. Yeah. So I think, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what, what else to say. What can I say? You give me a question because I'm out of out of ideas. All right. Um, <laughs> what? Please drink Starbucks <laughs> or buy you Starbucks. <laughs> she wants to be sponsored, but you have to come on camera for that. <laughs> She's not willing to take the risk. No, not for Starbucks. All right. Well, we're going to wrap this up, I guess, for this talk. All right. But, All right. Um, but yeah, if we come up with some more things to share with you guys that we think would yeah. be helpful, we'll definitely we're get back on here. We're going to go enjoy a festival. Oh my God, right yes. Now. We just happened to come and all this. All this, all this like, cool stuff's going on, and I never usually get to be a part of it because I'm in the lighthouse doing my readings on the weekends. So, yeah, now it's her I'm turn. excited We're gonna to get to go there. play. We're going to go play. She's forcing me to play. I have to. It can't be work all the time. Bye. Why? Wow, what? Wow. Wow. <laughs> We've impressed the daughter. Yeah. I'm always playing. What are you talking about? <laughs> we have a crowd coming here. Okay. All right, guys. So, yeah, this was fun. Thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you so much for coming on and, yay, yay. and helping everybody. Um, and especially for Twin Flames because, man, I'm telling you, if I would have known I was a twin, things would have been so much easier for me. Oh, my gosh. I know. Shit. I know. Having Sorry. support helped. <laughs> having support helps so much. Oh you know, it's God. it's like night and day. Because the thing is, before, I know I start to talk a lot, but this is one we thing. We probably took everything really personally, right? Yes. Not just that, but once you talk to people, you know that what you think or what you're going through, you're not as crazy because the things that you do, like I save pictures and I'll put collages. 
Oh God, please don't show this. <laughs> take that out. Take that. Shut up. Look at her. I know stuff. No. Everybody does that. Everybody has like. Dream don't say his name. <laughs> yeah, so you know, it could be like very like you're like, am I like obsessive compulsive? Like, is this am yeah, I a stalker? Totally. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then easy no. <laughs> But then you realize... That's an outsider who doesn't have a twin flame yet. <laughs> She'll exactly. Figure it out. You I'm never having one. <laughs> never having one. <laughs> we shall see what the universe has in store for you. That was so cute. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, so it's, appreciate the community. Make sure you, you know, comment and mm. and any questions, I mean she's really good because she was that's her, that's her calling. Her mission is to unite. How did you find me? YouTube. I, I, I don't oh, know. I, oh, okay. I just saw you. It came it's up in my big as world my out there. It really did. And the first video that she spoke about, it just hit me. Like it was about. It was a time where you were talking about them um, opening up, starting to open up, and come back. Oh, cool. And everything she's been telling me, honestly, has been happening. So you know, it's somebody that I can trust. At. I'm telling you, she's unbiased, which I I really appreciate that because cool, a lot of people will be like. Oh, don't disguise like this. Oh, no. Every situation is so unique that you shouldn't. You never know what's going to happen in this journey. So have fun with it. I know it's tough, guys, but make it for you. You know, spend your time. Like right now, I'm focused on me and the girls. But I do feel him energetically, though, so much. So of course, much. yeah. So you know that they're with you and they're thinking of you. So what are you laughing about? Oh, that was me. So, you know, um, basically, just take it for you. This journey's for you. It'll, it'll really change and empower you in so many ways. Mm -hmm. so, sure. It's fun. Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> Hi. Oh. So we shall Hello. see what happens. Oh. Yeah. All right. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey! Walking around Boulder in the hot summer sun. It's amazing. I love it. Is this the hottest that it gets? No, it's been hotter. Oh god. Really? <laughs> Not <coming up. laughs> We're coming back during winter, that's it. <laughs> oh, no, that's bad for me. I don't like it. It's good for Melly and I. Remember the baby. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> And our businesses oh that so cute. sponsor these are really looking for bragging rights. So you can tell us which one is your most older, most creative, or people's choice. Awesome. <laughs> That's great. That oh my fun. gosh, that was so fun.